Um, the brother here on the, on the, on YouTube, he's asking. Oh, like our uh, Sheikh, I would like to ask about being friends with the Kufar. Ahl Kitab, Baha is Shia. We are not taught, or we are taught, sorry, not to take them as awliya. But what to extent do we avoid them? Can we eat with them, be friends with them, etc.? The issue of al wala wal bara ikhwani is a very sensitive, yet very important issue to understand. Al wala wal bara. Al wala means loyalty, association with someone. Al bara means hating, disassociating from someone or something. This is a main fundamental concept in Islam. In Islam, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says what? لا تجد قوما يؤمنون بالله واليوم الآخر يوادون من حاد الله ورسوله ولو كانوا آباءهم to the end of the eye. You shall not find people who who believe in Allah and they believe in the last day, showing immense love to those who are enemies of Allah, even if those people are their own fathers or siblings or wives to the end of the verse. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu, la tattakhidhu, ha? Aduwi wa aduwi wa aduwakum awliya tulquna ilayhim bil mawadda, wa qad kafaru bima? O you who believe, do not take my enemies and your enemies as your close allies, showing them love while they disbelieve in what has been sent to them. What has been sent to you, Afun? So all of these are ayat which show that. Allah says, وَالْمُؤْمِنُونَ وَالْمُؤْمِنَاتُ بَعْضُهُمْ أَوْلِيَاءُ بَعْضٍ And the believers, male and female, they are allies to each other. And Allah says, وَالْمُنَافِقِينَ وَالْمُنَافِقَاتِ The disbelievers, the hypocrites, they are allies to each other. They are allies to each other. يا أيها الذين آمن الله says لا تتخذوا اليهود والنصارى أولياء بعضهم أولياء بعض do not take the Jews and the Christians as your close allies they are allies to each other now this matter is very important الولاء البراء إخواني because some people they have taken it to extreme extreme saying you see what this ayat they say so immediately they see someone who's not a Muslim, they um, shrink their faces, show anger, they're chanting, kill the kuffar, thinking that this is al-wala al-bara, meaning al-wala al-bara, al-bara, disassociating yourself means kill all those who are not Muslim, that is not Islam. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala never said that. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam never said that. And his seerah and his way, his sunnah is completely opposite of that. And a good example to clarify that, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he said to the believing man that they are allowed to marry from the Christian and the Jewish chest lady. Chest means they're not, they're not fornicators. You know, a woman who's a good woman, if she's Jewish or Christian, you can get married to her. Right? Get married to her what? So that you can kill her? No. You understand? And you know that between husband and wife, there's love, right or wrong? So there's love which is what? Natural love. Husband, wife, love. But at the same time, you dislike your wife and you disassociate yourself from her and her kufr which she does. You understand? Yes. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says to the believers whose parents are not Muslims, what does Allah say to them? Huh? وَإِنْ جَاهَدَاكَ عَلَىٰ أَن تُشْرِكَ بِمَا لَيْسَ لَكَ بِهِ عِلْمٌ فَلَا تُطِعْهُمَا وَصَاحِبْهُمَا فِي الدُّنْيَا مَعْرُوفًا If they, your two parents, listen to this, they fight, jahadaka, they put so much effort to turn you into kufr, to take you out of Islam. They don't like you being Muslim. Allah says, do not obey them. Stay on your Islam. But, وَصَاحِبْهُمَا فِي الدُّنْيَا معروفة. In the life of this world, taking care of them, serving them, 
loving them as your parents, do that, do good to them. You understand now, if you can understand this balance, you'll understand the balanced approach and the balanced aqidah of al-wala wa al-bara. You get it? There's natural love, they're your parents, they're your family, you love them because of that. And then you disassociate yourself, associate yourself because they're doing kufr, they're doing sins. So we don't go to this extreme which says, yeah, kill everybody. No, that's not Islam. No, that's not Islam. And on the opposite, those who say, oh, we are all one. There should be nothing like disassociating yourself and hating kufr. And that. No, no, no. That is not true. Allah says, do not take my enemies and your enemies as friends. Allah called them his enemies. Allah says, those who disbelieve, they are cursed. So you deal with them in what Allah has told you to deal with them, and you disassociate yourself in what Allah has told you to disassociate yourself from, with them. And you can never understand that unless you study the seerah, the sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ. That is why the best way, Ikhwani, is the way of the Prophet ﷺ, the way of the Salaf al-Salih. How did the Prophet ﷺ and the Sahaba practice these ayat? Why do some of us, we come about today after 16, 15 centuries and we think we are better in understanding the, uh, the sunnah and Islam than them? How? These verses were revealed to them and they lived within people who are non-Muslims, Jews, Christians, idol worshippers. How did they deal with them? The Prophet Sallallahu until the moment he died, his, his body armor, the body armor you wear when they went to fight, it was pawned uh, to who? the Jewish trader, because he had taken food and he told them, I'll pay you, take this as a, as a, as a uh, what, you, what you call sometimes, safety, uh, 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 sorry, security, Deposit. deposit, pawn, that's what you call it. He had put his body armor, which is worth so much money, to buy food from the Jewish man. You understand? And that is the understanding of al-wala al-bara. It doesn't mean we disassociate everything, there's nothing, no. This is business, worldly business. I need food, he's selling food, okay, fine. You understand? You have to understand these principles very well. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, there's non-Muslims, he had treaties with them, peace treaties, peace covenants. Between us and you, there's peace. You pay us jizya, tax, that's it. Right or wrong, so many of them. So, Juan, we should not understand al-wala al-bara to be complete enmity and udwan passing the limits, violence, no. And also we should not understand the other which they want today, those people want to water down Islam. That no, we are all one. La. How can be the one who submits to Allah be like the one who is disbelieved in Allah? If you can learn that balance, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has saved you. That is why you always ask Allah to make us balanced. Naam. You have something on this? Yes. Naam. Uh, so is there different levels because Allah says and then you describe the other part. So is there different levels of wala wal bara and that is a very good question. Is there a different level of al wala wal bara? Yes there is. And you have to understand al wala wal bara is even with Muslims. Your Muslim brother who doesn't pray, he prays Friday to Friday. Huh? You hate his action, and you hate him for that. And you don't show him the same love with your brother who prays with you every single day. Am I right or wrong? You think they're same in front of Allah? Those who pray every day, and the one who shows up on Friday only in the masjid, he doesn't pray. Are they same? No, they're not same. You understand? So this one you have more love for him than this one. You still love him because he's a Muslim, but you love this one more because he's a good Muslim. And you hate and dislike this person because of him and his action which he does which is sinful. Tahib, you get it? Even the non-Muslims, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, you'll find that some of them, they have no problem with you. They have no problem with you. They don't want to fight you. They want peace with you. Those ones, 
you don't deal with them the same way like those others who show you enmity and they want to wipe all of you out of the face of the earth. That is Kafir Muharib, that is someone who is fighting you. And this is someone who is no, he has no problem to you. This is a khwani, we can even say it's just logic, right or wrong. This is logic. You understand? Naam. I have a question. Uh, is, is it permissible to uh, help financially the family members that are not Muslims? Is it allowed to help family members financially who are not Muslim? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in that verse, لا 